Let's see what else we can add in to these different types of echo statement. Firstly, the single quote example, add in a couple of lines before the single quote. And above that, insert our styled paragraph, snippet, examplets, echo, add style. And do the same thing just before the end double quote of the double quote example. Add in a couple of lines, go up a line, add in styled paragraph. So now we've got echo single quote, some HTML, end single quote, and here we've got echo double quote, some HTML, end double quote. Save the file and render it in the browser. And we get an error. Let's see where that error came from before we go back to the directory page. In this second one, this says echo everything between double quotes we look at this, we have another double quote here. And then what follows the double quote isn't a semicolon, as it's expecting. It's something different. So inside double quotes, if we want to render double quotes, we have to escape them. And you escape or render them as literals by putting in a backslash before them. So these double quotes here have to have backslashes. Notice that Bluefish tells us that we've probably got that right now by changing the syntax highlighting. Save the file, and let's see if we can render that successfully. Yes. Having escaped the double quotes, we now have a single quote example with our style paragraph and a double quote example with our style paragraph. Go back to the directory. We'll now put in at the very top of our code a variable with its value PHP training all in uppercase, semicolon. And we'll try to render the value of this variable, firstly in the single quotes example, and secondly in the double quotes example. Now straight away there's a hint here. When we put it into the single quotes example, it looks as though Bluefish is saying, this is just going to print out dollar text. But when we put it in the double quotes example, it looks as though Bluefish is saying, this is going to print out the value of text. Let's save it and see what happens. Absolutely correct. In the single quote example, it printed out the literal dollar text. In the double quote example, it printed out the value of the variable double text. So you can see that Echo treats single and double quotes differently. There's no right or wrong way of doing it, but you do need to be aware of what each does and adopt a consistent approach that works for you. My approach is this. I always separate out any code elements by terminating a quote, being it single or double, and concatenating any variable components in the string I want rendered. So for example, even in the double quote where the value of dollar text was correctly rendered as PHP training, I would terminate the string component and concatenate with the dot the variable component, then concatenate this with the remainder of the string, which in this case was empty. But more likely I would put in space is underway. Similarly, if I was using single quotes, I would terminate the single quote part with a single quote, concatenate the text concatenate this by reopening the single quote before it was terminated. That's if I wanted the value of dollar text displayed inside the single quotes. I would probably be using single quotes here if I didn't want the value, but I wanted the literal dollar text to be rendered. Let's just save that and see what happens. There should be no difference except the single quote version now renders the value of dollar text rather than the literal dollar text. I'll also generally use double quotes for most things, except if there's lots of double quote marks in the PHP code that I'm trying to render. In other words, it's a lot of HTML code with double quotes in it. And then I'll use single quotes to render my complex strings.